So good evening, everybody. Today is March the 20th. It's a Friday evening, and I'm doing another channeling of Kriya, the entity Kriya. So my name is Winnie. Welcome, welcome everybody. I would be taking everyone for just a short meditation before I start channeling. And then um, I have no idea how long the channel is going to be. And um, it will come maybe 20 minutes or maybe 30 minutes or maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, and after the channeling, I'll do question and answer if there's any questions. If not, then I'll thank you very much for joining me for the evening. So let's, let's begin. So for all of you here, hearing this channeling right now and also hearing it at whatever time and wherever it is that you are. So let's all just start by tuning in towards ourselves. So just start to pay attention to your breath. Breathe in and then breathe out. And each time you breathe in, start to elongate your breath so that it takes longer for you to breathe in and take your time to breathe out. We actually can control our state of being just by controlling our breath. And as we elongate our breath, we can actually start. We can actually start to turn our vagus nerve back onto being normal instead of being on a state of alert. We can actually start to relax and relax our whole body from the top of your head. Start to feel that relaxation coming. And allow it to go through your whole body from the top of your head all the way down. Let, allow the relaxation to go all the way to the tip of your toes. From the top of your head to the tip of your toes. Allow relaxation to wash all over you. And at this time, let's tune into some higher vibration energy. And we can do that by just setting our intention from our heart is to send love, send a beam of love down to Mother Earth, down to the middle of the earth's core where the earth's consciousness is and allow this beam of love to come back bringing up the love of mother earth all the way back into your heart So allow the core of your being to be connected with the core of Mother Earth's being. And as you start to feel that connection between you and Mother Earth, while you're still connected to Mother Earth, also send a beam of love from the core of your being 
all the way up to the core of the sun's being, to be in the middle of the sun where the consciousness of the sun is and allow this beam of love to come all the way back to you into the core of your being, bringing back to you the love from the consciousness of our star. So be connected with Mother Earth and Father Sky. And also bring in the consciousness of the galactic central sun by just sending your love all the way towards the galactic central sun and allow the love of the galactic central sun to be returned to you, to the core of your being. And also bring in, also bring in the consciousness of source, of the ultimate source creator. so that you are created and connected to all of creation. Because you in core of creation is simply just one. There is only one being one source being that has created all that is. So feel this connection from the core of your being And as you feel this connection, realize that you are feeling this connection on behalf of the human collective. Because you are connected to the human collective. You are part of the soup of the human collective. Even though we cannot see a separate entity that is called the human collective, however, we know that it is there. It is there energetically because all of Mother Earth and feel one another. All of Mother Earth is connected to all of other creations as well. There truly is no separation. Separation is an illusion. It may be an illusion for those of us who are just learning how to be human. 
when we are just developing our consciousness, it may be helpful to see ourselves as being separate, one whole unit. However, as we mature, as our consciousness starts to become more holistic, it is time to let go of the notion that we, we being each one of us, are separate because we are not. We may appear to be separate. However, energetically, we are all swimming in this one soup of creation. We are all different aspects of the creator. There is really no notion of some or one creation being better or more important than the other because we are actually the same, only different vantage point. We are simply different ways of, of, of observing creation. Don't let your bodies, don't let your separate bodies fool you into thinking that you are separate. You are not. There's a lot of things going on. On Mother Earth right now, very colorful experience indeed. Beautiful, beautiful creations. And it's just the beginning. There's so much more wonderful new never before experienced creations that are coming our way. And it is all good. I know as human beings, you don't like to hear things that are new or different because new and different may seem threatening or fearful. However, you need to know this, you need to remember this, is that you are the creator. You're actually creating all these new and different experiences. And because you are the one that's creating it, that's why there's nothing to be fearful about. more and more we would start to realize even the most asleep, unaware people would start to wake up and become aware, conscious that they are not separate that we are actually all connected. This notion of social distancing is really curious, isn't it? That we are actually thinking 
that we can be socially isolated from each other. This is actually all just an illusion. Just remember that if your spirit, if your soul needs you to have an experience of a virus, then somehow, some way, it will happen. Somehow, some way, you will touch a surface that has the virus, potent virus. And somehow, some way, after you, t you get in touch with the virus, you would rub your eyes or some other parts of your body to get infected. However, if your soul does not need this experience, even if you somehow walked into the hospital and get and touch every surface and talk to everyone there and have the germs being floating in the air, if your soul does not need to have that experience, then the most likely scenario is that you would walk out and go home and not be affected at all. Somehow your immune system would be strong enough to withstand any attack, no matter how potent the virus may be. Because your consciousness is actually much more potent than the consciousness of the virus. And when your soul does not want to have that experience, then the virus itself has no power over you. I'm saying this not to encourage each of you to be reckless. By all means, have respect. Show respect to your own illusion and to other people's illusion. However, also know for a fact the consciousness matters and your consciousness will outdo the consciousness of the virus many, many, many times. So don't let any outside threat convince you that you need to fear. There's nothing to be afraid of except for fear itself because fear actually weakens your immune system. Nothing ever happens to you except by consent. And when I say consent, I mean it in the most energetic way, energetic consent. Fear is energetic consent. When you are afraid of something, you're actually giving your power away. However, when you can start to be conscious that nothing happens to you except by your consent, and you can start to let go of your fear, Let go of fear because 
there really is nothing that is not under your control. Remember that you are an aspect of source. And as source, you are the one that holds the power. Unless, of course, if you choose to give it away by being afraid, by worrying, by all these thinking and agreeing to play by someone else's rule. It is time, it really is time to look at what resonates with you. It is actually time to stay home. Not just stay home, but go home. Go home to yourself. Home, as in your eternal home. Home, as in the core of your being. That is your home. You are your own home. And I encourage you all to take this time to go home to the core of your being. Use this opportunity, this downtime to really go in and get familiar with what home feels like, of what the true self feels like. when you are more familiar with what home actually feels like, with what your true self actually desire to experience while you're on earth. And when you truly become conscious of all those You can start to let go of what does not resonate with you anymore. And that really is the best way to shift what you see outside of you. Because what you're seeing outside is simply a reflection of what you see and be inside. Experience is really from the inside out. You only ever see what you believe. It's not the other way around. It's not that you see it and you believe it. Actually, it's the other way around. You see what you believe. And you think that it's actually the other way. You think that, oh, you see it, therefore you believe it. And that's not the case. You see it because somehow within you, you already believe that reality. That's why you agree to see it outside of you. Pay attention to this. If you're seeing what you're seeing outside of you, and that means you believe it, or at the very least, you tolerate it. When you're sure 
when you're absolutely sure and you no longer tolerate something. Not that you think it is bad, but that you just am done with that experience. And you make a choice to no longer consent to that reality. Then that reality will have to shift when you can tune in and be so congruent with who you truly are at the deep level, at the home level. When you connect with that depth of power within, you'll be able to start to project that out. Imagine each one of us, every one of us of the human collective will be able to do that, to start to tune inward and resonate with that part of us that is an aspect of the creative source and we start to flow from that source and start to observe reality outside that resonate with the inward source. Imagine how different the world is going to look when that happens. And it starts, it starts with just one person who wants to have that experience. The experience of truly connecting with who they are, with their home base, And really holding that feeling how that feels, the feeling of being completely satisfied, of being completely taken care of, of being completely loved. of being complete, wanting nothing, needing nothing. And just be in that pure being state. state of being part of one. A state of being connected with all of one. A, a state of being in communion in harmony and in flow with all aspects of the one. That truly is something 
That truly is something to experience. And that is what is available to each and every one of us. If we choose to experience that. Imagine it. If that is what you want, imagine what that feels like for you. What does it feel like for you? To have all your wants and needs and desires already fulfilled. And whenever there is a desire that comes up, it's instantaneously fulfilled already to know that whatever you desire, you can actually create. What does that feel like to you? Who would you be? when that happens. What would you feel like? What do you feel like in the body? When there is no longer any fear, when there is no longer any lack, when there's no longer any worry, when there's no longer any judgment towards yourself or towards anyone else or towards anything else. when you come to the understanding that everything and everyone is perfect just the way it is in this moment. What does that feel like? Imagine it. Feel the vibration of that. You may not know what that feels like in your body. And that's okay. Allow your body to feel what that feels like energetically. It feels like you're a new baby and you're being held by your mother and you're being surrounded by the most magnificent nature and you hear birds serenading you 
and you smell flowers and you hear water running by. And you can smell fresh air. And you can feel the beautiful warm sunlight on your face. And you feel held. And you feel happy. And when you look around, you see chipmunks. Playing hide and seek with one another. You see butterflies flying around. You can see trees swaying in the gentle breeze. And you can smell the ocean close by. And you may even be crawling or walking on sands. Imagine it. That may be what it feels like. To be a state of bliss. To completely be amused by your surrounding and engaged and connected to everyone and everything around you. And you truly know that everything and everyone are connected. There's no separation. And that what you feel everyone else around you can feel. And you can feel everything that everyone around you feel as well. It is as though you have a mind link with them. You can experience them as much as they can experience you. when we are at that level of oneness. How can we help but to be in love with each other? To want the best for one another. And this is our potential. This is what is possible for all of us. 
And it all starts by each one of us choosing to come back home, to meet with the real self. So keep relaxing into that state of being, the state of being home. State of accepting yourself, the state of accepting everyone else and everything else. A state of knowing that it is all just an experience and that we are the one who can choose our own experience. So exercise that choice. That choice is your birthright. You get to choose how to feel. You get to choose how to think, what to think. You get to choose how to react and how not to react. A choice has always been yours. What would it take for you to exercise that choice? What would it take for you to be in the space of co-creation with your true self? And know that you are connected with all of humanity, with all of existence. There may not be a voting machine for you to vote for what kind of a world that you should or that you want to experience. There's no such place outside of you because it is within. You vote. within by starting to go within and connect with that source of peace, joy and bliss and when you're connected with that then the world that you start to project out of through you can only come from peace, 
from joy and from bliss. And know that no matter what is showing up outside, it is just a feedback. So don't try to change the image in the mirror. Rather, change the image that is standing in front of the mirror. That is how you can make the most profound change. By changing your relationship with yourself. Be at peace. Be in bliss. And be appreciative of you. And let go of all the thoughts that make you doubt yourself. Let go of all the thoughts and have you judge yourself or judge some other aspects of yourself. Feel, feel that connection with source and bring that back, bring that back with you and allow that connection to start to infiltrate all aspects in your life and watch how your reality may start to shift for you. And that is all we ask. It's just to try it out. And if you like it, feel free to keep it. Feel this feeling of home. And remember the vibration of your home. Thank you so much for joining us for this journey and reminder of who you truly are. 
You truly are magnificent, beautiful, and so deserving of love and so much loved. We love you so very much. Feel our love for you. Feel the love of source for you. Feel the love that is so abundant in the universe. Breathe it in. Get used to that feeling and remember that feeling and you can always, always remember how that feels like because this feeling of love from the universe it's always there. The universe always loves you. It is just that you sometimes may be a bit preoccupied with your own experiences in life that you don't remember that that is always there for you. Thank you. Thank you for this remembering. Thank you for this co-creation. Thank you for inspiring all this journey. Of going back home of re-experiencing that, remembering the love, joy, bliss that we are from. And know that you have never left that. You have never left home. You're always home. You're just not tuned into that channel. So know that whenever you need to, you can tune back in. That channel, the home channel. So please take a deep breath in. Breathe in the vibration of your own true frequency of home. Take in another deep breath in. And let it all go. And take another deep breath in. And when you're ready, come back into the room. And thank you so much for co-creating this channeling from Kriya. 
but we love you. We love you so very much.